Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be going through our all new and improved Solid Camp 2011 turning. We'll start with this part that we see on our screen that has to be turned. We'll go to new and start it with mill turn. And by the way, the changes have been made in mill turn and in turning as well. We'll start with mill turn and we'll put it in our location as we've done before. Next, we'll be choosing the controller that we will be using. And let's take a look now at this window. As you can see, this window now from turning, it has been completely integrated into SolidWorks and not as a separate window itself. Now, what do we have here exactly? We have here defining our coordinate system. We have here defining our stock. And in addition, we have here defining our target. But you'll also notice there's something that we don't have here anymore. What we don't have here anymore is defining our clamp. Now, in order to start your work, you do not have to go and define your clamp. That is defined automatically, and we'll take a look at that later on in this recording. We'll define our coordinate system as the center of this part over here, and we'll accept that. We have our heights, our levels, and we'll just say OK, and that's all I want to do for right now. Next, we'll create our stock. When we create our stock, we have several options as to how to create our stock. We have our cylinder option, we have a box, we also have the option of revolved boundary around Z, an extruded boundary, a 3D model, and an STL file. In this particular case, I'll be using the option of cylinder. All I have to do now is click on the part itself. And as you can see now, the part has the stock created around it. Now, as far as the boundaries of the stock, we can extend it on the right-hand side in the Z plus direction we can extend it in the minus direction. I'll have it at 30 millimeters past. And was, as you can see, it has gone now automatically 30 millimeters past the part itself. In addition, we have our external diameter having it at 2 millimeters. And our internal diameter, I'll put this at 0. And now you can see the new internal diameter at 0. Once this is done, all I have to do is accept this. Next, we'll be defining our target, and we'll be creating an envelope as we define our target. We'll go into Define 3D Model, and we'll just click on the model itself and accept it. What's happening at right now is that the system is now calculating the actual target plus the envelope around the part itself, and we'll be building the envelope around the part. As you can see over here, the envelope has now been built around the part. We'll accept this, and that's all we have to do over here, and we'll go and accept our settings for this part. As you can see, we have the stock now built around the part, plus the envelope built here. Now, as you can see now, we have our solid cam manager with all the options that we need over here. But in addition now, we have here automatically added a fixture. The fixture are actually either the clamps or any holding fixture that you may have. Now we've added automatically clamps to this part. And if I were to put this in this front view over here, we can do show on model. And what we see here is the actual clamp that was built automatically on the part. You'll note that the clamp is sitting exactly on the outer diameter of the stock. Plus, the default setting is that the middle of the clamp is set exactly at the edge of the stock. Now, let's take a look how we can edit this information. We can go right-click and edit. And over here, we can see that we have several ways of creating our fixture. We can either use a 3D fixture by choosing a 3D model. We have the option of Chuck User Define, which is the old version of how we used to define our chucks using a sketch on the part itself. And we have our chuck standard. This is a complete new option, completely the way we create the clamps around the stock, as this is done automatically without having to create sketches. Now, as we go down, we have our method for clamping. We can clamp it from our 
main chuck and we can clamp it from our sub chuck as we have from the other side as shown over here. In addition, we have the different options of how we grab our parts. For instance, we have our default option as shown over here. We have external first step face as shown over here. And every single one of the options that we can possibly think of. In addition, we also have it catching it on the internal of the part as shown over here. But we're going to use our default of external interface. Now, in addition to this, we have complete control of the size of our clamps. As you can see over here, this is the actual way the clamp is sitting. As you can see, this is the clamping diameter. That's the diameter that the clamp is sitting on. And that's automatically put on the outside diameter of the stock. And, as I've mentioned before, the actual position of the clamp itself in the Z direction. The default is that it's sitting exactly in the middle. I can make changes over here, for example, I can say I want this at 100, and I'll make this at 100, and as you can see, it dynamically changes its position as you're typing. I can go back and make it at 110, and put it anywhere I want. In addition, we have the option of creating the actual size of my clamp. For example, we have our jaw width, as shown over here. That's this area over here. We have our jaw height, the actual height of the jaw, as shown over here. The step width, that's the width of the step in this direction. And the step height, the actual height of the step as well. Now, in addition, in the next area, we also have clamp thickness. As we know, every single clamp has a specific thickness to it. So I can set the thickness, for example, at 20 millimeters. And, of course, the number of jaws. If I have three jaws or four jaws, all of this can be put in over here. All I have to do now is accept this, and all this has now been done. If I were to right-click now and do Show on Model, you see we have, as we've seen before, I can also right-click and do Show, and you see now we have here our four clamps, and we have it the thickness at 20 millimeters. Thank you for joining us on SolidCamp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.